Now, a few months before the first New Yorker piece, a local doctor wrote an op-ed about being assaulted by what she called an anonymous VIP patient while working at UCLA. According to reports, that patient was Leslie Moonves. CBS 2's Lisa Siegel is live at the campus in Westwood with what Dr. Ann Peters said. Lisa. Absolutely. Her name is Dr. Ann Peters. And because of privacy laws, she could never, of course, name the patient. But in May, she wrote an article and told her side of the story. Dr. Ann Peters says in 1999, she was asked to see a VIP patient early in the morning before regular business hours. She says after the initial consult, he pulled himself against me and tried to force himself on me. At the time, she was working for UCLA. She said she didn't know what to do, felt ashamed and stayed silent. I was supposed to be offering extra special service to this man because he was rich and powerful and good for my institution. She says the next day the patient called to apologize, saying he had a terrible problem. I told him he needed to get counseling immediately and to never allow himself to be alone with a woman in a room. Now, Dr. Peters says she reported the incident to UCLA. I wanted a note placed in his chart warning other women never to be alone with him. What if the patient did the same thing to another woman? She recalls being cautioned about telling police, being told the patient has more money for lawyers and she would lose in court. By Skype, we spoke with physician advocate Pamela Weibel. Taking an oath that often we're ending up having to protect other people over protecting ourselves and our colleagues. Until now, the name of the patient has remained a mystery. But in a new article in Vanity Fair, a source familiar with the situation says that patient is Les Moonves. Moonves, through a representative, told Vanity Fair, the appalling allegations in this article are untrue. Going on to say, what is true and what I deeply regret is that I tried to kiss the doctor. Nothing more happened. Dr. Peters is no longer with UCLA, but with USC's Keck School of Medicine. We reached out for comment, but no word back. But she made it clear when she first wrote the piece, she was coming forward to find a way forward. Never mentioning the patient's name, but saying, I wanted to teach young female doctors how to find their voice in difficult situations and work with men to recognize when their behaviors cross the line. It emboldens, I think, the entire group of female physicians and physicians in general to stand up for each other and for our human rights. And UCLA issued this statement, sexual harassment and misconduct are not tolerated at UCLA Health. Members of our community are encouraged to come forward with concerns about the workplace environment and allegations of sexual harassment and misconduct are promptly reviewed and addressed consistent with UCLA policies and procedures. That is the latest from Westwood. I'm Lisa Siegel, CBS 2 News.